as we start the new year, here's a little reminder what 2024 brings with it. Check this out. Gen Z suffers from menu anxiety when dining out with too many scared to order their own meals. This is where we are with the lost generation of Gen Z. Can't even order their own meals. Just imagine, you're about to storm the beaches of Normandy in the 40s, in World War II, right? And a time traveler comes back and says, oh, and by the way, before you go out there and possibly lose your life, this is what you're fighting for. These are the future generations that this is all for. Now, I know, depressing, but th- th- like seriously, this is, oh, come on. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Let's get into this. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to the very first episode of 2024. And you guys, I felt it was only right that we start the year on the right foot. I don't want you guys getting canceled. I want you guys getting on board with the status quo, coddling people. Otherwise, you're canceled. So we're going to start Z Education off right where I Z Educate you on the things you must accept about our new reality. For example, generation that can't even order their own food. Sad, I know. Before we get into today's game of you cringe, you lose, we have to do a little redecorating. Unfortunately for all you Christmas people out there, we got to take down the Christmas tree. Got to take down the Christmas tree as well as reorganize our bookshelf. Got to get rid of Hemingway and Faulkner. You know, everyone asks me what these books are. Uh, The Old Man in the Sea, classic American authors, right? This is, it goes with the theme. Those those books, they got to go for now. There we go. Look at that, huh? A little reorganizing. Reminder, you guys, we are in the final couple weeks before the book is released. We have hardcovers. We have paperbacks. We got everything you need. We have eBooks. The audio book should be available to order here soon. I recorded it. I just got done with it. And you know, hey Tyler, you talk about your book a lot. I do, I know. I'm incredibly proud of it. If you put this much work into it and you finally get to see it come to fruition, I think you might be a little proud too. So I hope you guys support this. Again, you're gonna hear me talk about it some more. If you'd like to pre-order your copy, you can do so today at the links in the description and in the pinned comments. So I'll leave those below. Anyways, we gotta get back to today's game. So if you are ready for today's game, You cringe, you lose, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you cringe, you lose, go. Uh Uh-oh, is a climate protester? Go, move, move, move. Get, where's Dr. Eve, move. Austin Powers. I don't even know what that says, is Germany? Where, just sprechen Sie Deutsch? Uh, <laughs> yeah, cleaning up the streets. That boy. That's what I'm talking about. The farmers. Farmers United. Hell yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. What are you doing in the road? Get out of the road in 2024. You guys are... Okay, you know what? Actually, I, I take that back. Stay in the road. That's funny. It was good for a laugh. Appreciate it. Harvard finds more instances of duplicative language in president's work. (laughs) Also called plagiarism. Nice work there, New York Times. You can't use the word plagiarism, though. That that one is a little bit too far, right? You're, You're trying hard to cover for this lady who should have never been the president in the first place. Uh, she was a DEI hire. Sadly, because there's many people who are qualified, right? Very sad. Nice nice work trying to cover for her, though, New York Times. From The Guardian. Women are happier without children or a spouse, says happiness expert. (laughs) Maybe some. Maybe. Uh, But it's debatable. Morning, all. Reason number 42,069. I love our Tesla vehicles. With a few kilowatts, they warm up without poisoning my neighbor's air. Had the extreme displeasure of smelling this 20th century vehicle vomiting carbon monoxide and other harmful contaminants in my face this morning. My kids play here, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I hope this is fake. I, I really hope that's fake. I don't think it is, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure carbon monoxide has no smell. It's the silent killer. I, I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. 
So you're a lunatic. Um, and I want you to, I want to know, let me know, uh, what goes into making your battery, the, the steel, the plastic, everything that goes into your Tesla, how much emission goes into that. Anyways, uh, starting off on the right foot. I feel bad for you if you have neighbors like this. The hell? What the hell? Oh, what the? Oh my gosh. Is this an insurance claim? Oh my God. You lunatic. Uh, you're so lucky you got that on tape. You poor lady. You have to deal with this. This guy probably thinks he's smelling carbon monoxide too. Sad. Very, very sad. Uh, this is where we are. People do this to each other. Clown world. Taylor Swift's whirlwind romance with soulmate Travis Kelsey has produced 138 tons of CO2 emissions in three months. <laughs> Got to take those private jets here and there. Get out, grab a lunch in LA. Fly out to Kansas City for the game. Fly to Brazil for a concert. You yeah, know, the usual. Only 138 tons. California Pizza Hut franchises announced layoffs of delivery drivers before new $20 minimum wage reports. Ooh. This is what happens when we have a basic, a lack of understanding in basic economics. So there we go. I hope uh, California understands it and sees it, but a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. A new peer-reviewed study has found that male non-binary athletes run faster than female non-binary athletes. Many on social media are pointing out that the results seem obvious. Uh, yeah, yeah, no kidding. I, I don't you even had to do a study to conclude that. Is this like only in clown world did someone say, you know, we should study this and see if there's a difference. You, just look at the world records. Look at the world records between men and women. Like, how is this a thing? Am I taking crazy pills? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Love that line. That's our new line. Are we taking crazy pills? Are, are we the crazy ones? Trying to make sense out of this insane world? Has social media brainwashed you into thinking the economy is bad? No, the grocery stores did that. Uh, it's still very expensive going to the grocery store. So, yeah, that's that's who brainwashed me into thinking that. Binary person who presents woman, my relationship with the word girl is very complicated. With some people, if they call me girl as like a colloquial term, it's fine. Like I'm with my girl or hey girl, what's up? But for me, I'm only comfortable using that word for me, and this is my perspective, if they understand and respect the full extent of my gender identity. I personally identify as both a woman and non-binary. I have a video on it, check it out. So if someone I know knows that about me and also respects that about me, goes, hey girl, I'm okay with them saying hey girl because they're not saying, hey, you're a girl. But if someone who doesn't know that I'm non-binary or doesn't know the full extent of my gender identity calls me girl, hey girl, I don't like it because I don't know them well enough to know if they're saying, hey friend, hey, what's up? Or Hey, you are a girl. Hi, girl. Hi, woman. Because I don't know them, and I don't know if they. If, I don't know if they get it. I'm the same way with my pronouns. If it's someone that I know knows that I'm non-binary, and they use she and they, but like lean more towards she, it's fine. Can't do I rather it be anymore. interchange, but it doesn't hurt me. But if it's someone I don't know, for example, in a professional setting, and they're calling me she and have not asked my pronouns, it's they she. It's they she in that order. Please use they. Does any other non-binary person get this, or someone who exists outside the binary of all this? Because I know and I can feel when the knowing of me is beyond the words but I also can tell and I can feel when people are using I just I, I can't can't order off the menus uh, there's nothing special in their life so they pretend to be special by changing things that aren't real I just I, I this is here we go we're into 2024 folks you know, uh, uh, next. Watch, read. Students held an insect recipe competition at UBC on Tuesday to raise awareness about the nutritional value of bugs and their role in sustainable food systems. Here, Journos samples their ginger mealworm cookies. Ah, uh, that's disgusting. And NPR told me that this was a conspiracy theory. Why would NPR tell me that? And that's, you know, got two different things here, huh? How many innocent people will be murdered because Elon Musk allowed Alex Jones back on Twitter? Um, this Manny, zero. They keep trying to villainize this guy, and it's, uh, you know, whatever you think about him, I like him. He's got lots, lots of passion, man. Shows up every day with passion. This is, this is insane. This is silly. Russia has a new electric car that's totally going to destroy Tesla. I don't know about that one. I want to be caught dead in that car. Um, yeah, keep that for yourself, Russia. <laughs> No, I look 
fucked up right now is because I've been sobbing. I was just talking with customer support with my bank. I was calling about some bank stuff. The lady like was super nice. So she called me Mr. Carter, which is, I mean, like my voice is deep, I get it. I was like, oh, actually it's Miss Carter. And she's like, oh, sorry. And then she just proceeded to call me Carter. <laughs> but she kept saying, sir, and it is accidental and she'd correct herself. But at some point during the call, I just started sobbing because like, you know, the, the dysphoria has been a lot lately. I feel so bad because she, she heard me sobbing and she's like, I'm so sorry. Can't, you know what? Know you know what? We're just, I, I can't that. take it anymore. I can't handle it anymore. I don't blame her at all. <laughs> enough. En enough. I, I, oh, <laughs> this is so silly. Next. Doritos rolls out $65 bottle of nacho cheese flavored liquor that tastes like the real thing. How about no? That looks disgusting. European Central Bank, the rise in climate related disasters makes it harder to forecast inflation accurately. What? This means we face more challenges when deciding on monetary policy. How the hell? Weather and money, money printers, money printing, spending. Um. <clears throat> Anyway, connect the dots, right? Let's say the, the the popular phrases, the popular words. Try to get people on board with it. next. I can't even. Venus was once Earth-like, but climate change made it uninhabitable. You know what would have stopped that? A carbon tax. They should have had a carbon tax on Venus, and they didn't. And look where they are now. If everyone just submitted... 100% of their paychecks to the government, then it, it would have stopped it. Obviously, everyone knows that. It is. Vegan who drinks his urine daily swears it's secret to eternal youth. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's disgusting. I hope that's fake. Fired for his act of love in the Senate. Aiden Mace Chukapitsky act was symbolic and brave because in a world full of hate, displays of love are rebellious. We shouldn't bend to a party that hates. We must do the opposite. Is this real? Was this actually a real article? Did they really make this? The guy that made a um, a video, we'll say, in the Senate hearing room or whatever? Like, that? this is how they're trying to defend it? Are you kidding me? Dude, I don't care who is doing what. What do you do? That's, that's a fireable offense across the board. You lunatics. Sage, 34. If you voted for Trump, there's no way we're going to the hump. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Sorry. Oh, you know, that's too bad. <laughs> that's... Hey, Heath. George Santos here. I'm so proud of you for coming out as a furry. And I just wanted to tell you that your friends and family all <laughs> accept you. And they're all excited about your fursona, which is uh, awesome to be a beaver puss, a beaver and a platter puss. Stop. So let me tell you, what is uh, going they on right all now? Love you, beaver puss. Don't beaver you puss ever like, get your head down, <laughs> and don't you ever, ever let anybody tell you what you can and can't be. I'm so proud that the corporate folks at Arby's gave you the go ahead to go to work in your persona. So if you could just, you know, live it up and be as perfect as you want, just keep doing you and yif, yif, yif. Bye. You know what? I want more of this. I hate to say it. I want more of this. You know what? I might get a cameo for Deef on this one. We'll see. To his, to his credit, um, he's going out with a bang, okay? He's throwing people under the bus. I like that. I love it. I wish he would have done that beforehand. I wish he would have been calling all these people beforehand. Bizarro land. Viva puss. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Prehistoric women were probably better at hunting than men, scientists suggest. Yeah, probably not. Probably. <laughs> it's, what a stupid article. Impeach Trump. He is psycho. Uh, I don't know if he'd be if I if I were you, I wouldn't be calling anybody psycho. Just a suggestion. Do you see yourself? How the climate crisis feels gender inequality? What? 
I know we've had stuff like this in the past, but that looks real. That's I think that's actually from CNN. How the... You're reaching there, CNN. You're really reaching. Keep doing it. Keep discrediting yourself. The first crossword was published in the U.S. in 1913. The puzzle has since spread across the globe. But the American crossword today doesn't always reflect the multiculturalism that immigration brings. You know, I've done a few crosswords myself, and there are lots of questions that um, have to do with everything. Different languages, different... What a stupid article. A Ford car displayed your vehicle cannot be driven message after software update failed. Ooh, there's a nice little look into the future. We have all these computerized vehicles now, all the new ones. Um, literally, button, you can't drive anywhere. Press the button, see you bye. Oh, you, you emitted too much carbon, can't drive. That's where we're headed. Toxic masculinity is hurting the environment. Ooh, ugh. <sighs> Shut up. Women don't inseminate themselves. Women don't inseminate themselves. Women don't inseminate themselves. Women don't inseminate themselves. I, you know, I go back to the intro where I talked about going back to the 1940s when those guys were about to storm the beaches of Normandy. And I want them to see this clip from the future. If we ever discover time travel, I want them to bring this back. Maybe it'll change some things. Um, you know, did someone check on this lady, by the way? I Something doesn't seem right. <laughs> That's what she did this. Oh, all right. I've slept with almost a thousand people. 987 to be exact. If you're going to slut shame the people doing this trend, slut shame me instead. I even dare you. Uh, yeah, it's gross. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. If you have slept with 987 people, that's that's uh, not healthy. I, I genuinely think you have an addiction, and you should probably see someone, and it's going to be very hard to connect with a future spouse. Truly. Like, that's a huge part of being with someone, and you've done that with almost a 1,000 different people? Biden campaign co-chair afraid Dems will get blamed for border crisis. I, it's been three years and it, it's a genuine problem, like a really bad problem right now. And yeah, it, it was under those Democrat policies. So it, what a stupid headline too. <laughs> Study humans contributing to global warming by breathing. You're bad all around, man. All Everything about you is bad. Just for being a human, you're bad. You're producing carbon and methane. This is literally the message that they're, they're feeding the kids. Like you're bad. Um, there, are, there's a group that's oppressing, and then there is the oppressed, and then there is the human. So everyone is bad because you're creating toxic gases. So you should hate yourself. That's literally the message we're feeding the kids. It's insane. Woman jailed after stabbing and tying up victim. All right then, BBC. Point of view, it's the last day of school before winter break in the early 2000s. Nostalgia is inherently fascist coded. <laughs> Hope that's fake. I don't think it is. The governor of California, Gavin Newsom, will force stores that sell toys to have gender neutral toys for the children in California. The retailers who do not adhere to these new norms, which have been approved by this governor, could start receiving fines of 250 to 500 dollars. Therefore, in the beginning of the new year, all of these shops in California will have a section dedicated to gender neutral toys. And this, of course, in a mandatory manner, because if not, they'll be castigated with consequences. Now, everyone agrees with this new policy. The president of the conservative group, California Family Law Council, Jonathan Keller, stated activists and state legislatures have no right to enforce retailers to espouse government approved messages about gender it's a violation of free speech and it's just plain wrong how 1984 and dystopian does this sound listen to this again if they don't adhere to the new standards like consequences the retailers who do not adhere to these new norms which have been approved by this governor could start receiving fines of 250 to 500 dollars <laughs> therefore in the beginning of the new year all of these shops in california congrats california you're way down, way further down the rabbit hole than us. Wow, the judge granted her twelve hundred a week in child support. Yeah, where you going? Where you going? Uh huh. A week. Twelve hundred a week now. It's over. Yep. You want to take care of that girl, your little new girlfriend, and her kids. Now, yes, yes, yes. 
Cause you got me messed up. You got me messed up. I don't care. I don't care. You taking care of other people's kids. I don't care. Yes, yes, yes. Because I need all that money. I need it all. I need every penny I can get. Yep. Now you can see your kids once a week instead of seeing them all the time. So whenever you feel like it. Oh well. Oh, at least I'm getting paid. At least I'm getting paid. Did you want to be laid up with some other girl? Uh huh. Yeah. You got me messed up. Now, you stop, you stop doing that. no, you no, there, no, because like, that's what you get. You embarrass me. You, 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 you embarrass me. You embarrass me. See them, they all you embarrassing me. me. I don't care. I don't care. They can look all they want. Oh, well. I can't believe you, dog. Oh, well. Now, yeah, 1200 a week. Right, money, like, yeah. Right. No, I'm going to egg this one on. Yep, I'm going to be buying plenty stuff with that money. You know what I could do with that? Do you know what I could do with that? Yeah. Since you want to be taking care of other people's kids, you ain't going to be taking care of nobody's kids but mine. Wow. That's uh, very sad. She's bragging about taking $1,200 a week. That's a lot of money. $4,800-ish a month. How, Dude, how does he have any money for himself? That's like the median income is what? Um, 50 grand, 40 grand? I think it might be actually less than that. So she's getting... All that money, I don't even know, is that tax free? I have no idea. And so he gets taxed and then has to pay her. So he's gotta be making like 70 grand a year to break even before he even spends any money. That What the hell is going on here? I don't know the story there, but that's kind of weird that she's bragging about it. Uh, making him, yeah, next, this is sad. Woke books bought for huge advances by inexperienced editors hired post George Floyd have flopped including 500,000 queer feminist novel that sold 3,500 copies and Elliot Page's 3 million transgender memoir that sold 68,000 copies. That is, uh, for someone who is in the spotlight, that's horrific. Only 68,000? We are over 3,500 copies total, so we're way over that. And this is, so wait, $500,000, so they gave that person $500,000? A little insight into to our process. Um, I didn't get an advance. The the contract is it's a it's a very friendly contract. If the book sells uh, does well, right? Um, but there was no advance. That's really bad, really really bad. Uh, but we were I've already went over this in a, a video I made not that long ago. This book that I wrote um, wasn't picked up by several different publishers because of my identity. Because I'm a straight white male. That's that's why they didn't want to publish it. Even though I think it's a really good story, a really good book. I'm very proud of it. And I think people are gonna like it and in turn recommend it to others and 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 probably buy it. That's you know, that's the hope, right? And then they picked stuff like this, gave five hundred thousand dollar advance for thirty five hundred copies. That's horrific. So bad. But this is where we are, even in the publishing world. Merit. Merit doesn't matter. So sadly. Seattle high schooler marked incorrect on quiz for saying only women can get pregnant. Well, that was a real story. That really happened. Guys, I went on a date this week and I felt the feminism leaving my body. I live on the east side of LA and if you don't know what that means, it's sort of like the artsier part of LA, you know? It's, it's people say it's like Brooklyn and New York. Like, so I go on dates with a lot of men and women who, you know, live over here. There's always a negotiation about who pays and that's great. I like to pay for people, all that. But what I will say Say is that I sort of fell into going on a date with the most guys guy I've ever been on a date with. And he's from West West, you know, Santa Monica. He's a bro, right? A guys guy is usually not my type. Like I cannot remember the last time that I went on a date with like a straight bros bro. You know what I'm saying? But it befell me. It befell me in an organic fashion. So I'm on this date with this guy. And the thing about a guys guy is he's putting his card down. He's paying for everything. And I really just, it sort of activated something feral in me. I'm not gonna lie. He went to like another bar and he went, he was gonna go to the bathroom. So I was getting prepared to pay for our drinks cause he's been paying all night. Of course I'm gonna pay for the next round. But as he's going to leave for the bathroom, he turns to me and he hands me his credit card and he goes, here's my card, get us whatever. <laughs> it might be time for me to get away from all these, you know, liberal snowflakes on the east side her words not mine her words not mine um 
you know, props to the guy. I think that's that's a good first date, right? Thankfully, I'm not in the dating world these days. I feel bad for anyone in the dating world. And, and this may be a good lesson. Maybe the, the feminist in you, maybe it isn't really what you want. Maybe it's not. Maybe you're, you're career-driven, only think you're never having kids, uh, women run the world, F men mentality. Maybe that's not it. Maybe that's not the answer. I don't know. How would you do in today's video? Did you cringe at all? If you did, you lose. You lose and 2024 is going to be very tough for you. No punishment today because I feel bad for you. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. And if you have not checked out my book yet, please do so. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Happy 2024, everyone. 12, 15, oops, stepping on them. There's a, it's black, anyway. Idiots. <laughs>